If you're facing an issue that reads, this app cannot run on your computer, this video is for you. I've compiled a list of solutions that may help you out with your problem. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to try to do is run the app in compatibility mode. Let's say I'm facing the issue with Remote Hit, this application. So um, you want to head on over to the shortcut for the app. You want to right click on it, click on properties. You want to head on over to compatibility. Click on run this program in compatibility mode, and then you want to select whichever Windows platform you have. If it's, for example, a Windows 7 P PC or a Windows Vista or a Windows 8, you select that, you click apply, then you click OK. And then when you open it, it'll run according to that version. Right, so that'll help you out with that issue. I don't have that, so I'm just going to untake that. And you can also run a compa uh, compatibility troubleshooter. So when you run that, it will take a second here. It will automatically tell you which app that you want, um, sorry, which, which version you want to run the app with, right? So run the Windows Program Compatibility Troubleshooter. Uh, yep, just click on yes. Uh, this program doesn't display correctly. We'll go with that one, right? So just click yes to just solve your problem. And this should, this should basically just um, uh, diagnostic action done, right? Just click yes and we'll close this out. Cool. So, and that should, um, for me, it didn't change anything, obviously, because um, this app will run fine for me. This could potentially help you out and fix any problems that you're facing. If not, we'll move on to the next step. So, what you want to try next is running your computer in developer mode. And how you do that is you head on over to your search bar. You want to type in settings, access your settings, go on over to system, scroll down to uh, for developers right here, click on that, and turn on developer mode. Click on yes, and this should help you install certain as you can set it like right here, install apps from any source, including loose files. So this is usually a bad option. Windows turns it off for you automatically because people don't usually know what they're doing. Uh, it's for the safety of the user, right? So they don't accidentally download viruses from untrusted websites, etc. So that could potentially be why you're running into issues with this application that you have. I recommend turning this option off with caution, but... Um, or turning it on with caution. Uh, but if it does help you out with your problem, that would be good. If not, what you can try to do as well is reinstall the app. So let's say, for example, I'm facing the issue with the remote end, right? So you just head on over to your settings, go on over to apps, installed apps, and you just want to search whatever app you have on your computer. So if I have remote it, that would be this. You just uninstall, and then you reinstall it, right? I'm not going to, but you can do that. You can reinstall and you can check. If that fixes your error, then that's great. If not, we'll move on to the next step. So something else that might be causing the error is the fact that the application is simply not supported on your OS, on your machine. It could be for an older version of Windows instead of the current version of Windows that you're running, or it could be for uh, an, a newer version. For example, if you're running Windows 8, it could be for a Windows 10 or 11, and you're just not able to run that. Obviously, it's outdated. So to make sure you're not running into these problems, you want to go on over to Google Chrome. And uh, I'm just showing you, for example, uh, with Remote It. Remote It supports many, many machines. As you can see here, it supports Linux, Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, uh, a whole bunch of machines. So you want to make sure you're downloading the app that's compatible with your OS, with your machine, right? So you want to check the, the downloads on the website that you're downloading this app from. And you want to check for the appropriate download. So ours is a Windows 11 or 10 PC. So you want to select Windows. And you'll see another thing right here. These numbers, 86, 86 by 64, and ARM 64. Right, so these are CPUs. These, the, these numbers, essentially, um, they're compatible with your CPU. You need appropriate hardware for these. Sometimes it could be incompatible hardware that's causing these issues. So if you have an ARM CPU, you'd want to install this. If not, you'd have an 86 or 86 by 64. You want to download these other ones. So that could be why you're running into this problem, potentially. And um, 
you should be careful when you're installing these applications. You need to take note of these things, make sure you're downloading them appropriately and accurately. And I hope that does solve your issue. If not, just drop me a comment. I'll try to help you out even further. And I'll catch you guys a different time.